What's up, YouTube? This is Enzo Rides coming at you with another video today. Today we are going to be um, talking a little about a little bit about the 2022 WRX that I've been messing around with. I don't want to say built because you know people always get that uh, that you know my shit is built and people go off the chain and they're like, oh my god, that's not a build. That's just modifications. So we're gonna go over my modified. 22 WRX so far what I've done to it um, I have a couple videos that I've done on this platform already let's see let's see if I can turn this I also do content on the street Bob it's chilling right there it's just kind of kicking it right there it's been a while since I wrote it um, honestly it's just been so hot in fucking California and uh, I, I work at a hospital so you know I'm always trying to like look decent and have my hair done. I can't do that shit when I fucking have, you know, when I'm riding in 100 degree weather to the hospital and I take off my helmet and and I smell like outside dog. You guys know how that goes. So I, I haven't really been riding it much. Hopefully we'll get some riding done soon and maybe when it cools down, it'll be good. But um, right now we'll just be talking about the Subi. So I've done a couple things since the last video. I think the last video I did I don't know what the last video I did was, honestly. Maybe like a couple, just like a little, you know, look of modifications, whatever the fuck it was. But um, we've done a lot, right? So I think when I made my oil change video a while back, I was talking about the tune and how it went with D-Man. I think it was OTS and uh, it was for the 91 out here in California. For the intake, it was performing well. Well, so right now what I have done to it is... Uh, so right now, I have ETS intake. I have NVIDIA R400 cap back. I'm running a E35 blend, which is a, for some guys that don't know, it's a blend of ethanol E85 and a blend of 91 California gas. I'm running that blend for also the supporting mods with Anthony Berry over a D-man tuning. Um, he used to be drunk man tuning. I don't know if he's addressed that or you know, I, I did have a guy in the comment last time, like, drunk man, I'm never going to purchase a tune from him until, you know, he changes his name, whatever. Uh, before that comment was even made, before I even made that video, he did uh, transfer over to D-Man tuning. So I guess he is, you know, you know how it is with these generations. Now everyone's kind of soft, hurts their feelings and everything. That's just my personal opinion. He changed it from drunk man to D-Man. So D-Man tuning. So I don't want to disrespect. But yeah, Anthony Berry over D-Man tuning sent me a tune. We revised it, I believe, three times, and it's for the E35 blend. I kept the 91 OTS tune with, uh, just in case I wanna switch back and forth, so I still have the OTS for the ETS intake, and I am running the E35 blend. I've been running E35 now for about 2,500 miles, and I love it so far. I mean, it's a drastic change. It's a drastic change from when, like, you know, I'm on the 91. Uh, I, I have, I actually did get some knock today driving, it was like about 100 degrees here in SoCal. I was driving to Stater Brothers with my AC full blast. I did get a knock. Uh, usually it's negative 1.05. Today it did hit negative 2.11. So I don't know, I'll probably hit him up about that. He tells me sometimes it's the gas, sometimes it could be a variety of things, I don't know. Um, but so far, the t but my, uh, my dam stays. My dam hasn't pulled, I think at all, since I've been running this blend, it hasn't pulled at all. So that's a good thing. So the car is way more responsive with the ethanol, way more. I mean, way more. I think, uh, especially I made the transfer, like I wanna say like April, April, April or May. So it was still kind of cool. You guys know the weather was kind of funky over here in Cali. It was still cool. We had some nice boost weather. So like at night I would do pools. It's fucking nine day difference. I mean, I took my wife in the car with me and she's like, oh my God, this thing pulls way harder. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it, it's a drastic change. I know there's guys out there running full E85 right now. I personally have not ran full E85 yet just because um, I wanted to see how everybody's shit runs with full E85, if there was gonna be any problems. Uh, Anthony did say he's been running his car on full E for like nine months, but I mean, I don't honestly know how much he drives a car. I don't know if it's his daily. I do see him like driving a truck, a F-150 on his stuff. So I'm assuming even though it has been nine months, he may not have put many miles on the car. I'm not too sure. But there have been a handful of other guys running the full E85 and I haven't seen any issues yet. So, you know, knock on wood, or maybe I just haven't been up on the forums too much to where I have seen 
anything but no i haven't i haven't heard any bad things yet so that's a good sign uh, I will eventually go full E85. I did pick up a uh, parent front mount intercooler. It's over here in the corner. I'll pull it out in a little bit and show you guys like towards the end of the video. So I did go with the parent front mount intercooler. I bought it secondhand off of a off of a guy who was trying to sell it. it it's brand new, but I didn't pay full retail for it. I think I got it for like I'd rather not say actually, just in case my wife watches this video. You know what I'm saying? Um. So, anyways, I did. I you know. I got that, it's black, it's completely black, it's the front mount intercooler kit. Um, I picked it up because I got a good deal on it, you know, like I said, it wasn't retail, so it was a good deal. He was trying to get rid of it. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't enable, it doesn't it doesn't allow you to run the front crash bar with it. I'm kind of sketch about that. I have heard mixed things, you know, I've seen on the forums, people are like, well, the front mount acts, acts as its own fucking crash bar, and you know, this acts as a, you know, or you don't even need your crash bar or whatever, but I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of sketch sketch on it. I did see ETS re is releasing or has released their own front crash bar with their front mount intercooler. So hopefully Perrin's not too far behind. Once they do do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up and run that so I'm a little more comfortable. But yeah, so right now, mods, NVIDIA R400, ETS intake, D-Man 2 and E35 blend, um, I will, oh, I also have a, uh, I'll show you guys that later too. I have a PNL J pipe that I purchased also secondhand from, um, if you guys have Instagram and all that shit and you guys follow all the VBs and stuff like that. I got it from boosted Panda. Uh, some of you guys may still follow him. I still follow him. I know he's running a BMW now. I forget which one it is. I don't know if it's a 330 or a 340. I could be completely wrong on that, but he's a B he's a Beamer boy now. Um, when he did part out his VB, I picked it up. I got a real good deal on that. Also, his was used, but I guess it was some strange thing where like when he was driving with his, there was some, some type of scraping going on or some type of, uh, I don't know how it worked, but he said there was some type of damage with the original one that he had. He contacted p &L. They said, hey, check it out. You fucking send us back the old one, we'll send you a brand new one. So he gave me the old one to hold on to until the new one was sent. So he, he sold me the old one. I held on to it. I think like a week later he got the new one in. So, I mean, I got a good deal on that PNL J-Pipe. I haven't installed that neither. So that's chilling with the front mount. Um, once those are done, I believe I'll be full bolt on. And I met some of you guys at Subi Fest. Everybody who was at Subi Fest, it was good seeing you guys. I know my car was out there. Uh, I actually rolled with um, Dub RX Adrian. Uh, was it Adrian? Yeah, no. Maybe Adrian, Adrian was there. No, Adrian went with Aeroflow. So we, I went with uh, WRX Calder, Carlos. We went with, uh, I don't know his Instagram name. I don't follow him. But Julian, Carlos, uh, myself, and who else was it? It was Cali WRX, and there was another, uh, Shy WRX, Ray. I don't know Cali's first name. And um, there was one more. I forget what the guy's name is, but he doesn't have an Instagram. He told me he doesn't have an Instagram for his car yet. Uh, so we rolled up there together. I was actually a little late, so we caught up on the freeway with each other. Yeah, Subi Fest was fun. You, I'm sure you guys had a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of fucking VBs, a lot of cool builds out there. Modifications, you know. There was some serious builds out there with, like, the EJ platform. But the VBs, it was some good shit. Uh, I didn't win anything, obviously. I don't think none of the people I went with won. I wasn't really in it for the whole winning part. Um, I was just trying to... Just roll and kick it and have a good time. I'll personally probably never enter into the car show again. There was too many politics to it. You couldn't move your car under, you know, under load. You couldn't start your car and move it. You couldn't leave. The weather was trash. Uh, it was fucking super hot, humid, and cloudy. So we were, like, just all sweating balls out there. We couldn't leave until, like, after 3 o'clock. But then by, by that time, they were announcing, like, all the winners for everything. So we just stayed. There was some raffles. We were trying to see if we won some raffles. So we kicked it for while we went across to the mall had a you know had a drink kicked it met some more people but overall super fest was fun i actually did pick up an ieg air oil separator as well um i tried to get a video of the install i went over to carlos's house and i tried to get a video of the install but it just was so hot and i was just trying to smash through it i didn't get a video of the install he did post a video of the install check his page out if you guys need any help with the air oil separator IAG for the 22 VB. He does a good how-to. I know Joey Montalto did a good 
um, good vid as well, and IAG themselves actually has a good install video, so you can use whoever, you know, whatever video you want, but uh, I tried to get one, I couldn't do it. I'll show you guys what it looks like going under the hood, it looks fucking sick. Everything seems to be running as it should. Uh, there's no issues there, so that's pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I got it too. You know, my car is like at 9,000 miles. I got some diehard Subi, Subi homeboys out there that are like, you know, my homeboy Troy, this was always hitting me up like, oh, bro, you still haven't did the AOS though. You're spending money on nice mods, but you're not, you know. So, yeah, I ended up pulling the trigger on the AOS. And if you guys don't know how an AOS works, um, I'm kind of a little knowledgeable on it, not too much. But you guys can check it out there's a lot of videos out there i know having a turbo car uh, i think we get a lot of we get a lot of blow by right we get a lot of blow by from i don't know if it's from the the turbo itself but we get a lot of blow by with the oil and it goes in i think because ours is direct injected it doesn't really clean itself out like it should it can cause problems you know carbon buildup all kinds of gunk happening where your valves are your i think it's uh, and, you know just shit that you don't want in your motor you don't need oil in there anyway and also the way the mechanism works with the pcv i think that blow by that's going it's supposed to like rerun it into your intake that's so that's what happened when the when it gets blown by and it comes out the oil recirculates through the pcv system and it gets thrown into your intake manifold and that oil is supposed to get you know burned off with the incoming air or some shit like that. If uh, I'm saying it wrong, correct me please in the comments. But all it does is pretty much it separates that blow by that would have happened. It replaces the PCV system and it runs it through the actual air oil separator where the oil separated from the air and the oil is actually then put back into, I don't know if it's the crankcase or some shit like that. I, I don't know. I tried, I tried, I tried. Look it up, but anyways. We got the IEG AOS installed, and uh, it was a pretty, it wasn't hard. It was just like, uh, it was just time consuming. You gotta do everything right. And then if you wanna route the, the hoses really nice and make them look good, you gotta take your time, make sure everything's good. Uh, we, we were all scared, I think, cause it was me, Carlos, Adrian, it was us three, and we're sitting there installing it. And I think Adrian had made a comment a couple days before to Carlos or something, cause Carlos told me, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna install it. You, got, you want to do it together whatever let me know um but he said we got to do that shit right because if we do it wrong it turns into a bomb and we're like what the fuck so nobody really knows nobody really knew so while we were installing it, we we're like dude we got to get this right because if we don't we're fucking the car up so but you know eventually we got it all we got it all done um i drove my car home carlos actually lives maybe a few miles maybe like seven nine miles away so we were at carlos's house i drove all the way over there but coming back i was completely sketched out of my car car's gonna die the car's gonna die but it actually performed well it was good um uh, i know adrian actually had an issue to where i think he didn't he didn't reinstall the charge pipe correctly or something he had a boost leak i know he's running he's not running the stock charge pipe he's running a raise titanium charge pipe uh and i don't think he put it on correctly so when he was driving home he texted the group chat like oh shit bro my car died it stalled out carlos actually wanted to go uh help him out and fixed it the next day next morning it was just a it was just a boost leak so if you guys try to install that ieg by yourself and you guys end up having issues where you start the car and it just dies down his was idling but i think as soon as he took off it would die down uh check for boost leaks because you know you're not really taking away too much crazy stuff when you're installing it so you know just do that but i'll show you guys that ieg or aos um i also picked up some bc racing coilovers and uh i installed those um they're cool, you know. It was kind of pain in the ass. I also got those used secondhand off of uh, Carlos, one of his uh, clients. He uh, sold them to me for a good deal. I got a good deal. I was trying to just get some coilovers for Subi Fest. I wasn't trying to be out there all fucking stock height. So he sold me the uh, BC Racing coilovers and the uh, white line adjustable end links. I got a good deal on it. I'm not going to say how much, obviously, again. But I got a really good deal on it. Just know that. Um, if some of you guys follow his Instagram, you know how much he was selling it for. So I picked those up. I installed everything. It took me, you know, took me a couple hours. I should have got a video of that as well, but it was crunch time before Subi Fest, and I wanted to lower the car a little bit as quick as I could. Um, I installed these with it at first originally. However, 
it drove smooth there to Subi Pass and drove back. But like after a couple of days of just driving, I started hearing like a serious clunking under there. And it was crazy because I posted on the forums, everybody was like clunking. I just, you know, I asked for help on the forums, you know, check it out, just install these coilovers. I'm getting some serious clunking. Does anybody know? There's people in the comments like, oh, I've already, you know, I heard stories about that or BC's trash or you shouldn't went with the uh, upgraded coilovers, this and this. So I'm freaking out. Um, I actually contacted Carlos. I was like, hey, bro, what's up, man? You fucking sold me these, uh, you know, you sold me these coilovers. Your buddy said there was zero miles. He was like, oh, bro, you probably just uh, installed the end links wrong. Just check the end links out. So sure enough, I went, took the car apart, checked it out. End links didn't seem like they were messed up, but I tightened everything down. Because at the time, I didn't know how to install end leaks. I didn't know you had to do it under load, all that stuff. I know now. Should have watched more YouTube videos. Now I'm a pro. But uh, tightened everything down. Noise went away. I was like, amazing. You're right, bro. It was the fucking end leaks. You're a genius. Drove like a day or two. Clunking came back. So I'm like, damn. So after that, I was just fed up, right? I'm like, well, the car is fucking too low now to where I can actually drive up on some ramps that I have. So I can't do it under load, right? I can't, you know, I can jack it up and then I can put it on, you know, put stands under, then jack the damn control arm up, try to copy the load that way. But it was just too much. So I went back to the stock end links, haven't had an issue. They ride like butter. It's nice, you know? So you can't go wrong, BC Racing coilovers. I mean, you know, some people have their personal opinions. Some people are all Cygnus, X1, Comforts, you know, but for me, I'm an average guy. I don't, I'm not sponsored by nobody you know i do have uh technically import image racing i'm sponsored but the reality of that is is you get like 10 bucks off every part 20 bucks off every part and i'm not bashing anybody because obviously i'm not doing nothing amazing with my content or anything so when people say they're sponsored or you see people posting on youtube oh i'm sponsored this and this it's great or you're seeing people you know uh, on Instagram and stuff sponsored, you know, if it's like with import image racing or other shit, they're only getting a slight discount. They're only getting a couple bucks off their parts. You know, it's more for the fame and the, the feel cool. Like even my Instagram says I'm sponsored import image racing, but the more that I did it, sometimes it's a hassle, right? Cause you got to email these people, hope they email you back with, you know, not a discount code, but they'll actually knock off a couple bucks off of every part. They'll send you an invoice and then you can buy the invoice, right? It's easier just to just buy the damn parts. So again, like I'm saying, I'm not spon I'm not sponsored. I'm not special, right? All the parts that I have on my car, I bought myself with my own money, hard-earned money, right? Um, everything that I put on, I've installed myself. The only thing I haven't done to this car is the tune because I don't know how to tune, obviously. But other than that, I've done everything: suspension, um, end links, fuck those up, a AOS, exhaust, intake. Anything that's been done in this car, I've done myself. So it's pretty, pretty proud to say that. But, um, but yeah, you know, put it back to stock with the end links. That hasn't given me a problem. But like I was saying, I'm getting off topic. Uh, for the money, you can't go wrong, right? BC Racing. They're like $1,100 brand new, right? I got mine a few hundred dollars off. I bought them, you know, 100 miles on them maybe. They, they run nice, bro, you know? I know some people will say certain things like, oh, you know, they're not Fortunatos, they're not Cygnus, they're not, you know, this and that, but the reality of it is is the everyday guy who's buying his car, sometimes, you know, you can, and people have told me too, well, why don't you just save up? You know, well, I just wanted my suspension now, maybe I will save up a couple years down the line and swap them out when that time comes, but for now, the BC Racing Coilover is perfect for me. I know Carlos is running them as well, they're nice for him. You know, he has no complaints either. Uh, they're nice, man. You know, can't go wrong. Um, obviously, anything different from stock is going to ride kind of harsh, right? So don't expect like a Cadillac when installing these. But they do have adjustments on the uh, on the top hats right there to da the dampening adjustments. You can go harder. You can go softer. I think I'm right in the middle right now at 15 clicks. It's nice, you know. But also, I'm not completely slammed on the car, too. I think I'm dropped like an inch and an inch and a half. It looks good. It's good enough for me, right? Um, so yeah, it's it's running good. I got the BC Racing coilovers. Like I said, I got those bolt-ons. I got a couple bolt-ons chilling. I have the front splitter from Aeroflow Dynamics on it, and I'll show you guys a video of the the car right there. The front lip. I got the rear or the, the rear spats from AFD. I also have the side skirts from AFD. I bought the front kit secondhand again off of. Boosted Panda, gave me a good deal on it, right? Got it, got it used. So, uh, 
picked those up. Side skirts I bought from AFD. I think they had the 4th of July sale as long, uh, along with the spats. They're cool. Um, I am probably going to be, I'm for sure selling my lip. I think it's the V1, the STI version. I will, that will be for sale. I don't know how much I'm going to sell it for yet. I think brand new, they're like a bill something. I'll probably end up sending mine for like 60 bucks or some shit. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. It'll be on my Instagram. Um, I'm going to end up selling that one because I did purchase another one from AFD from their damage sale with a WRXVB Justin. I think there was a, oh, it wasn't damaged, but an open box. I did get the version two, the actual, where there is no, none of this. It's just a full lip. That looks a little better to me. I'm not sure about the splitter. I'll show you guys right now. I might keep it. I may not. So we'll see how that goes. But, um, oh yeah, these will probably be for sale too, just because uh, the end links were good for me, the stock ones. And I know these are fancy, but I don't want to install these myself. Pain in the ass. I can't do the suspension under load. And I'm not going to pay a shop to do it because they're probably going to charge me all crazy. But, um, so the reason of this video today is I bought some parts that I'm going to be installing. Show you guys a little before and after. Um, and I just did want to catch everybody up on the, uh, on the, the WRX build modification, modifications. Um, see how it's, show, tell you guys how it's going. I love the car, man. I love the car. I think my next my neck what i really want to do next is uh i want to install a system in it aftermarket system i miss my i, I need some beat in there you know what i'm saying i need some uh i need some bass and i did i was actually able to test out the oem plus audio option that's out for the vbwrx's at subi fest and i didn't like them you know i didn't i didn't like them um, they had actually like their own little demo to where you could get in the VB. I got in with two strangers. I didn't know I should have got his name. Could have gave him a shout out. He had a VB. We both hopped in there with the rep and we were sitting in there. The first song that they played, I think it was like some techno song or something. And it banged, you know, and it banged. And it was like, it sounded good. They were like, it's meant to work with your stock audio system. You know, it sounded good. They had me in the first half, you know, I was listening to it. I was like, damn, it sounds fire. You know, obviously the kit's expensive, right? It's like a thousand plus but it's supposed to work with your stock. You're not supposed to mess with anything and you know, all that other good stuff. So I was like, man, this is good. You know, almost had me sold. She was like, oh, does anyone want to throw a song on? So, you know, I'm not a big techno guy. I'm more of like a hip hop, rap, rock type guy. So uh, yeah, I put on, uh, they were like, put on something that bangs. I was like, hell yeah. I'm gonna throw on a Millie by Lil Wayne. That shit bangs. I used to have a system back in the day and that thing would just thump. Soon as the bass dropped on that song, it went flat. It was like, it was good. You can hear when it was a milli, a milli. You can hear the bass in the guy's voice. It was good. You're like, oh, this shit's gonna bang. Soon it was ball. It just went flat. I was like, I was like, yep, it's not working. Even the lady was like, well, you know, not every song sounds good. And I'm like, well, fuck. I mean, if I'm playing a thousand plus for this shit, every song better sound good. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but I probably am gonna go aftermarket with uh, my local audio shop, maybe get some vids of that. The only thing is, is I don't want like two big old 12s in a box. You know, I don't need that much beat. I need space in my trunk, right? I'm getting old, 30 years old. I do want some beat, but I do need my space. I do need my, you know, comfortability. And since I do have little babies, I'm probably gonna get the bass controller. So when they're in there, I can turn it down. But yeah, hopefully we'll get that done soon. So anyway, sidetrack. I picked up some carbon overlays, carbon fiber, carbon fibers, carbon fibers, overlays for the Subi WRX VB. Um, I got these from Twins Carbon. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you VB owners probably follow them on Instagram. You know, Carlos has like their whole fucking catalog on his car. He is sponsored by Twins Carbon. I mean, when I say sponsored, I don't mean none of that half-ass bullshit. That fool got a good sponsorship with them. Um, his car looks sick, right? So I ordered, I pulled the trigger. I used this code. I think his code is uh, Los VB. Los VB. I think you get like 10 or 15% off. Use that code if you're shopping at Twins Carbon. I bought these early july i want to say like july 11th they had the drop i just received this package yesterday um i was a little upset about it and i'm not going to be i'm going to be honest you know because you know i wanted these before subi fest i was thinking these would be shipped out before subi fest a week or two they didn't they took a little longer even then after that uh, i contacted the guy i mean i gonna be completely honest right um because like i said i pay for my parts with my hard-earned money and i know a lot of you guys do too so you know so when I was purchasing the items, I think I was in his DMs like every day or like every drop or something, just excited about the product and he would get back to me ASAP, right? 
Um, after I purchased everything, I, you know, a couple days, a week went by, I hit him up. Oh, you think this will be ready for Super Fest? Kind of took a while to hit me back up. Then he was like, sorry, bro, it's probably not going to be there before then. My bad. I'm like, cool, man, whatever, right? Just fuck it. So um, they didn't come. I think I hit him up again a week later. I know, mind you, he did get into, like, some type of accident where he, like, hurt his rib and he was down for a few days. But then I hit him up over the weekend, and he didn't contact me until, like, I want to say, like, Monday or Tuesday. So, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not knocking the guy, but communication with me is key. Doesn't matter if you're, you know, a big-ass company. Doesn't matter if you're a small company. Communication is key, right? If I purchase something from you and I'm getting a little uneasy, I haven't tried, received my shipment yet, I'm going to hit you up. I'm going to ask questions. He kind of took a little late. To, he kind of took a little longer to respond than he usually does, right? So it's like, right, you're ready to buy. He's on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Then you buy, and it's kind of like, oh, yeah, well, I'll get to get to you when I can, bro. Or, like, you know, things are taking a little longer. And then I hit him up, and then it's a couple days. And then I hit him up again, and then it's like a weekend. And then I hit him up, and then he finally got back and me like, oh, my bad, bro. Let me check it out. So I, I just didn't personally like that, right? I didn't like that. It is what it is. And I think what made it a little more was I think he ended up coming out and saying, like, oh, I was back ordered. Or I took on, you know, I wanted to make sure that I had enough stock or I didn't purchase enough stock because I didn't know if all you guys were gonna order, so I didn't even wanna be stuck with all this stock. So I think they were made to order, right? He said they were in stock when I bought them. So, oh, getting a phone call. My bad, hold up. My bad was getting a phone call. So back to what I was saying. I think the owner of Twins Carbon or it's synth carbon too is if you guys didn't know synth carbon twins carbon you know i think they they both work together they're both something either partners or he just owns both companies for different platforms um i seen him post something like yeah i didn't want to order too much and ha be sitting on too much so you know he i mean he could have let people know that right he could have told everyone like hey bro um these are pre-ordered these are built and made i don't remember that when i purchased it said in stock so i figured it was in stock and another thing that kind of worried me was it took like two to three weeks, right, to receive. I ordered July 11th or July 14th or something like that. I just received the package yesterday, which was the 5th. Um, and he's based in SoCal. I'm pretty sure it says that on the on the company based in SoCal. So it's like, dude, you're close. I should have got my shit ASAP, right? Again, rant over. I just wanted to, you know, let everybody know. Because, again, we spend our hard-earned money on these companies. We deserve a little respect, right? My personal opinion. And it, like I said, I'm not sponsored, so I'm spending all this money. But anyways, I'll show you what I got. These are just overlays. You know, I know Rex Speed has some overlays as well, but they're fucking expensive. One thing I will say about this guy is he is affordable, right? So I got the uh, the shifter. Well, this is the uh, cup holder overlay. I got the pillars for the car, the overlays. I'm going to go ahead and install these and show you guys what they look like on there um steering wheel what else i get a door switch or window switch overlays and interior so we're gonna get these installed right now fuck yeah and we'll let you know what they look like stay tuned buddy let me show you guys the car though real quick all right guys here's the car in all her glory bam so we have the AFD, I think it's the STI spoiler, STI um, chin version, or I don't know, STI version of their chin spoiler, or whatever is the V1. Um, I don't like that gap down there. So the one that I purchased is uh, brand new. And you can see this black looks a little funky, a little dulled out. Again, I bought this used off Panda. Along with the spoiler, he gave me a good deal. It looks good though, right? So I purchased another lip. I'm going to go with that lip. I may take off the spoil. I may take off the uh, the splitter. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Keep the splitter, dump the splitter. I'm still not too sure. Some people say get rid of the white. Some people like the white. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. However, I'm probably gonna either ditch the splitter or I am gonna get it powder coated on my off time. Because as you can see, it is it's a little damaged, right? It came a little damaged, but I got such a good deal on it that I'm not tripping. So I either want to paint the splitter. Or ditch it all together i'm gonna install the new little uh little spoiler i guess chin spoiler and uh we'll get that installed and i'll show you guys i do want to get the sport grill i'm probably going to purchase the sport grill tomorrow 
off of another uh, person on the forums. He's selling one used. I'm gonna get his uh, fog light bezels and his sport sport uh, grill with the uh, with the roof spoiler in the back. So I am gonna get that. Um, check it out. That's the low that I got right there on the uh, BCs. It's not bad. The car looks good, right? It's not too not too shabby. Looks a little low. I love the stock rims personally. I do want to get rims, obviously. Who doesn't want to get rims? But they're just so fucking expensive. And the tires are still good on these. And, you know, everything's fine. Why, If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? And it's not ready for that yet. So I have the... Uh, these are the Noble little... What are they? The Rain Guards. Check it out. So I did order the carbon uh, fiber overlay caps for them, too. They still haven't came. They're preparing for shipping, so we'll see what that looks like. We got the AFD little uh, side side skirt, and we have the rear spats. Uh, I I like the rear spats, but I'm probably gonna get rid of them because I did damage this side. It has a little green scratch, as you can see. I was getting tattooed a couple days ago, and uh, I was in LA. Obviously, all the good artists are kind of in LA. There's good artists here too. But the one that I went to was in L.A. And I try to get close to the damn curve because L.A. traffic and, uh, you know, all that. Got too close, scraped it. It is what it is. Um, I got the Noble little duck bill right here. I like it. I like the way it offsets the, I like the, way it offsets the red. I also got the tent on the lights. I also did these lights right here. Check it out. Oh, they're not turning on right now. But those are the Noble little reflector lights those are actually active they look good at night i'll show you guys at night um i got the vortex generator right there it's cool it's just 3m it's not too shabby not too bad not the greatest not the worst but it looks good so yeah the pillars carbon fiber boom we're gonna have to take these off sadly we're gonna have to take these off we'll redo the 3m get it all done tonight hopefully and we'll show you guys what it looks like so stay tuned yo all right, we just got the first one pulled off. Man, I forgot how ugly or non-cool the car looks without it. It's not too bad, but I think they do make a pretty good accent to the car. So we'll get that one pulled off. We'll install the carbon fiber pillar covers. And then, you know, obviously we're going to prep the surface. I think we'll wash it, maybe hit it with some alcohol real quick. And then, yeah, we'll fucking get those installed and we'll see how it looks. So let's get it. All right, what's good, YouTube? Coming back. Um so we got the carbon fiber overlays installed however i did have to remove my window visors like i was saying wow so we got these off had to run to home depot had to get some more 3m we're gonna clean these up and we're gonna go ahead and throw them back on however with the installation of the carbon fiber overlays on the a pillars of the window you may or may not have to double up on 3m tape i think i'm gonna have to double up on 3m tape because on this little part see it's indented a little bit that's where the carbon fiber overlay is going to be and the a pillar is already raised up so it's just going to create more gap so what i notice is it'll the 3m will stick onto the a pillar but it keeps popping off so i'm going to double it up i ran out of 3m tape so i had to go to autozone like i said i'm going to double it up we'll get it installed um it's nighttime as you can see already i'm low on light so uh Maybe I'll, I'll roll this little light thing out. I got a little ring light right here, you can't see. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll check it out maybe, see how that goes. If not, I'll have to get some photos and some vids tomorrow morning before work or on lunch. So we'll get that going for you guys so you can see. But overall, they're all right. For the price, you can't beat it. I mean, anything in those kits are under $100. So, and it's a, uh, pretty nice modification interior wise i'm not sure how i'm feeling about it on the outside because uh i just took uh, i took the kids to yoga land right now and uh when i was parking it kind of looked a little strange with the carbon fiber eight pillars but we'll see maybe it'll grow on me maybe it'll look better with the black overlays with the window visor so we'll see but uh, let's get these installed all right so Just installed the new 3M tape. I doubled it up. So now it has some height on it. So let's see how that installs. 
should be good seeing as how the a pillar is a little thick over here so bottom too. Got these uh, interior scissors. They're pretty sick. So. We'll go ahead and go install this one real quick. See how it goes. All right, we out here little ring lights putting in work making it bright out here um, we're gonna go ahead and install this so it's kind of helping me see too so I might as well just record it we'll check it out oh cord move Carbon fiber overlays are cool. I should have cleaned them though real quick. Give me a second. All right, we got a little towel. Let's clean off the little hand marks right there. Go ahead and get this tape off. Check it out. figure out a way to uh, speed this up so you guys aren't just fucking watching me do this. Damn. I kind of figured that would happen with the uh, overlays get a gang of fucking bugs. So damn. That's a good. So right there, that was it. So, if you guys install the overlays, right here, the carbon fiber overlays, let me see if I can come in close so you guys can see. Let's see if I can turn it up a little bit. All right, so you can't really see it, I guess. We'll have to see it tomorrow. But so the carbon fiber overlay is sitting on the A pillar, right? And you're now elevating the thickness from the stock A pillar to the rest of the window. So to create a good seal, if you're running these uh, rain guards, double up your 3M from here all the way over. So at first I was having a little issue. No homo, no homo. a little crusty yeah so i was having a little issue of uh getting the original 3m the one layer to stick that's on there though for tips looks great so now we'll do this side and then we'll keep continuing cool turn on this light even though you really don't need it but it uh works good looks good you know bam set up so just gonna go ahead and keep continuing with the 3M tape. I'm still getting used to this uh, ring light thing, so I'm gonna see if I can adjust it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. All right, check me out. Oof. Don't look at the legs. Don't look at the legs. So you just want to go ahead and clean, wipe down the original. I mean, you might as well, right? You got everything on. Wipe it down.
get a good seal on your 3M. Take your time. Get a good seal. Because uh, if you don't, you're going to have rain leaking through this bitch. And then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the rain guards, right? So. So. It's weird. I've had this, uh, this ring light for like a year now. I think I got this around my birthday. And I've never used it. But, uh, you know, this thing's convenient as fuck. It holds the phone. Comes with a little fucking Bluetooth thing right here. Bam. I hit that, it starts recording. I hit it, it stops. If you're on photos, it stops. I mean, it, uh, it'll take pictures and not take pictures. So, you know, if this is the type of shit that you like to do, it's probably good to invest in one of those things. My, uh, my weak ass sister in law got me this shit. Just kidding, she's right here, so I'm talking shit. She can't hear me though, I don't think. She got her AirPods in, so. So, boom, first layer is on. Go ahead and take this off. Boom, coming off, right? I'll just litter, I'll pick that up later. Don't let my wife see that shit. Alright. So again, we're just gonna make a little cut, a little sideways cut to go with the, uh... Woo! Be careful with your scissors. These ones are good. Some interior scissors. I inherited them. Wouldn't work. All right. So I know most of you guys know how to do 3M tape already, but I figured why not, right? Why not? It's been a while since I put out some content. Might as well, might as well record all I can, right? So, doubling up the 3M, y'all. Yeah, so, um, I love this 22 VB, man. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I bought this car primarily for uh, a daily, obviously. But I needed something that would fit all my kids. I have three kids. And I recently took uh, custody of my uh, niece. So now I got four. So the only thing that sucks now is I really can't use this as like a family getaway car because my wife don't fit with all the kids so we got to take her she has a pathfinder but um it's cool fits all the kids i like it and you know i come from like mustangs and stuff so this is fun you know little turbo hatchy i had an st back in the day but um you guys like your vbs drop a comment below let me know how you're liking it what you got done to it i like talking to everybody in the comments so I like watching all kinds of VB content too. So we're gonna leave that one. We're just gonna tape off the rest right now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys check out uh, Heavy Metal Rex's page, but I like watching his content too. He comes out with some dope ass shit. I was just watching his newest, uh, it's not tuner talk, but it's like, uh, I guess owner talk. I forget what the hell the name of the video was, but it's like owner talk. And it's pretty much it, all the guys who own a VB. I think he had Joey Montalto and, uh, man, what's the other fool's name? Fuck. Street, Street Inspired? I don't know his real name. Street Inspired, but, and they had like their own little tuner thing. That shit was dope, actually. I like watching shit like that. If you haven't, you should go check it out. If you like that type of content, check it out, bro. Hopefully he gets my ass on the show. That'd be dope. I like to fucking talk about things anyway, so might as well get me on there. That'd be sick. And you know, I feel like I got a lot done in my car. It's not, it's not too much, but it's a lot. You know, I know people are going hard. Um, I do want to get my hands on an STI tranny. 
just because I do plan on making some serious power and I really don't want the damn transmission that I have now to blow. But another thing was the STI trannies are getting expensive now. The swaps are getting expensive. Cause you know, people know that these are bolt on now. You have other people from EJ's or regular w EJ WRX is trying to get their hands on one. Cause you know, it's straight bolt on, right? So my homie was telling me, he was like, damn boy, I'm fucking, I'm trying to get my hands on one. I was like, sick, I feel it. He owns a, I think he owns a bug eye. I'm not too sure. But he was telling me too, he's like, yeah, I got to get one because they're getting expensive. And I was like, damn, I should get one too, bro. While well, they're still around, you know? So we'll take this one off. We'll just do all of them and then we'll go back out there. Yeah, if you put this stuff on, try not to wash your car for like the first couple days let it cure you know I figure this thing will cure pretty quick too because it's hot as shit in SoCal honestly I've been trying to do work I want to install that parent from Mount Intercooler but obviously it's been too damn hot out here and I just don't have a lot of time, especially with these little kids that I have. But that's life, you know? All right, we're doubled up on that one. Now we'll just do this one, last one, last one. Hopefully I have enough 3M. It's looking like I might. I wish I may, I wish I might have enough 3M tonight, fuck. since I got this fucking car, man. It's been hard for me to ride that Harley, I'll tell you. I know a bunch of you guys that are my followers right now that are my subscribers. You like Harleys too, but I hope you bear with me. It'll come back, I promise. And, uh, I know, uh, Sturgis is going on right now. If any of my, uh, subscribers are out in Sturgis with their, with their Harleys, let me know, man. Drop a comment below. That'd be fucking sick. Let me know if you guys are there, how it is. I've seen a couple of my uh, buddies that I follow riding out to Sturgis. Crazy ass fool. I'm probably not going to have enough tape, honestly. Going to have to go back. Wow. Cut it short real quick. Gotta go back to AutoZone. Hmm. All right, guys. It's kind of late, but I'm wrapping it up. Got everything installed. I'll get a separate video with the, uh, with the overlays tomorrow. I'll get some uh, pictures posted on the gram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, drop a follow. Enzo Rides on the gram, pretty active right there. Let's see if I can get some interior shots. So boom, haven't cleaned the car yet, but here it is, the overlays. They're looking good, man. They're pretty decent for the price. So it looks good. Feel like it looks good. Let's go around the driver's side. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about. I think it's all right. Let's go around. Just take this fucking ring light. Cause this thing puts in work. Yeah. 
It's a little cleaner on this end. There it is. Not too shabby. I have the steering wheel trim, have yet to put it on. So once I install everything, I'll get some pics, make a new video showing everything. But it's getting kind of late. I got work in the AM, so. Oh yeah, let me see if I can show you guys my uh, IEG while I'm at it, fuck it, right? I already got the ring light and shit out. Looks pretty good. Haven't detailed the engine bay in a while. Don't mind the filter. I got some OEM Subarus coming. Yeah. And then all the wiring's back there, all the hosing. It's hot as fuck, I bet. Oh yeah, hot. But performs flawlessly. Intake, I'm trying to seem stock as fuck. I know one of the homies out here just got state reft. That shit's crazy to get state reft. But all right. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I get them carbon fiber overlays for the mirror soon. But yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. There's the ring light I was talking about. Shit's tight. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of mods you guys are running on your subi if you're thinking about get one if you're thinking about getting one or anything like that if you are i'd say just get it but all right till next time y'all